Hey guys, Wade Triple Three here. Today I'm gonna do a Derek Jeter PC video. Um, he'll soon be the newest member of the Hall of Fame. Really, the only question is whether he'll be unanimous or uh, he'll have a few votes off. So, if you follow me, you may remember I did a Derek Jeter video a few months ago. Um, I haven't added a few new cards to the PC since then, and I've also uh, picked up a new phone, so I figure a little bit better uh, camera quality. So, I figured I'd do another one. And uh, so, I'll get started. I'm not going to showcase too many rookie cards as most people are very familiar with Derek Jeter rookie cards look like. However, I picked up that 93 Pinnacle a few months ago. I really like the black borders. A couple other nice uh, additions where they, of course, the man refract, or just this is the base version, a 98 Finest Man uh, PSA 9. Picked that up a couple months ago. Great looking design. And also the 99 Retro on the left there, the gold variation. Another card I like, just a simple um, border, very simple parallel. Uh, serial number to 250. Now I'll start with my graded cards first. This is a 96 SPX gold parallel. Back when parallels are much simpler, just one uh, parallel, the gold. Uh, this is a cool background, has looks like a World Series background there with the uh, drapes on the, I don't know what you would call those. On the back end there. Uh, 2014 tops chrome purple. And he's from 99, Bowman's Best Refractor. It says Soriano on the back. Ooh, uh, great shine. All right, let's put these off to the side. There's a 96 Pinnacle Team Tomorrow. Great two fex card. There's another fairly early card, 95 Emotion. And a 95 Zenith Honor Roll. Another great two fex technology back almost looks better than the front. And keeping on with the 95 theme, this is the Stadium Club Crystal Ball. Here is a 97 Stadium Club Pure Gold. Now these cards are pretty sensitive. There's a lot of uh, chipping issues. As there's so much foil with the gold. The 2000 SPX Excitement lower end insert. Nice card though. 98 Don Ross Fantasy Team. So this is still numbered to 2000. There's a die cut version that's numbered to, I believe, maybe 250. O3 Tops Tribute. This is a great uh, product. This is a red parallel. Serial number to 225. It's an O4 Tops Heritage Chrome. Nice looking card. 98 Donruss Collections. This is the Prize Collections Parallel. Designated on the back with the PC near the card number. Great shine. So 2012 Tops Heritage. This is a black border parallel. Let's see how long that will stay up there. And here's 08 Gaudi. The game used issue. Yeah, 
95 SP silver parallel. Again, sticking with the uh, simpler theme. 95 SP just had this silver parallel variation. And another great product, the 98 and 99 Topps Gold Label. These are always great looking cards, whether they're just the base card or some kind of parallel. Just a great high-end product for its time. O2 Donruss Originals. This is the only year they made this product. This is the uh, silver sample variation. These were these came in Beckett magazines. And I believe maybe 10% or so were gold parallels, which were even tougher to find. Here's one of my favorites from 2013 Topps Heritage. This is a short print. These go for pretty good money on uh, eBay. I'm a big fan of the Topps Heritage cards, so I pick them up whenever I, they become available. And it is, if you follow Jeter, here's a great one. 2000 Topps Chrome Refractor. I got a great price on this card back in October. PWCC just sold one for about three times what I paid for this card. Um, who knows if that was a sale was legit or not, but uh, Jer Derek Jeter cards and uh, are just going up in value. Whether it's because of the 90s inserts or with his Hall of Fame induction. Or the combination of both. This is a 97 upper deck ticket to stardom. Many of these cards I picked up a few years ago at, at the latest. Some I picked up this year, but it's coming tougher and tougher to get good deals on Jeter cards. This is a, another favorite, 01 Elite Aspirations. Serial number to 98. The 98 Ultra Prime Leather Insert. Our purple refractor from 2011 Tops Chrome. Nice shine. Here's what I picked up a few months ago. 97 Select. Rookie Revolution. Love the uh, technology in the background there. I believe that this one is serial numbered. However, it doesn't have the ending. I believe it's serial numbered to 2000. You got the number up top. This card doesn't pop up a whole lot. So when I saw it come up, I uh, put a pretty strong offer bid on it and I was able to win it. Seller was selling off a bunch of Jeter cards. Is another insert set I always like, the 99, 99 Crown Royal All-Stars. Uh, this card can be pretty sensitive because of the uh, top of the die cut insert there. Nonetheless, a great card. Here's 04 Tops Chrome Refractor. The 97 Upper Deck Predictor. This is a redemption version. So you had to send in a winning predictor to get the redemption card. Some of these can be a little tougher to find of certain players. It's a 97 Ultra Top 30 die cut insert. So I believe this is 2000 SPX. Talents, un untouchable talents. Nice insert, great uh, background, nice shine. Here's a uh, 99 Donruss Diamond Kings. This is a retro version for 2000. 
as Donruss was playing catch up as they were out of the uh, card market for a couple years. Z99 ovation curtain calls inserts. Is it 2002 Studio Spirit of the Game? I always like these inserts. Very simple. Uh, this is a year after, of course, uh, Tragic 9-11. Uh, so I believe this is kind of what it was uh, focusing on. Picked that one up at the National. It's another one I got at the National. 95 Upper Deck Predictor. This is just a classic card of Jeter. Uh, I remember this card being featured in Beckett Magazine and when I was a kid, never thought I would touch it. Uh, I found it in a, a box at the National for just a few bucks. Couldn't go wrong with it. There's another Topps Heritage. It's a short print from, I believe, maybe 07. Great card. I like Topps Heritage a lot. Just a simple, clean design. Here's, I believe this is, is this 2014? Or 15? Uh, Tops Chrome, this is a pink refractor. I love the color. Uh, there's not too many. I think this might have been one of the first years I actually did pink. So, kind of cool. Here's a 97 Collector's Choice New Frontier. These cards really fly under the radar. They're one per box. And they were dual cards. There's another card that would complete the uh, Frontier design. Another Yankees player. But, uh, you know, yeah, they don't get a lot of popularity, but they are somewhat tough cards again. The 98 Pacific Gold Crown Die Cuts. I always love these uh, Gold Crown Die Cut cards. I pick them up on my favorite players whenever I see them. Here's a Bowman Chrome reprint refractor. Just great shine. Got this on check on my cards a few months back for a great price. See 96 Stadium Club. This is a Silver Extreme. It's another redemption card you would send in for the winner. I remember seeing the base card many years ago when I was a kid. Uh, found it at an LCS and picked it up. So all these older cards, they bring back a lot of memories of when I collected as a kid. 96 score, Diamond Aces. Yeah, all these inserts I couldn't touch when I was a kid. Way out of my uh, price range. Is the Topps Laser Baseball Spotlight insert. As, a, as I was a kid, I was mostly picking up Topps, Score, Donruss. Couldn't touch any of these higher end cards, products. I showed the refractor earlier. This is the Topps Gold from 04. It's a great clean design. Just a really cool insert. Um, can't go wrong with these. There are 2000 Topps HD. This is the image insert. Another one that kind of flies under the radar. Again, not super tough. HD had a thicker product, which is a nice clean design. These are can be somewhat tough to find at times. Here's another one from 94, uh, Fleer Excel All-Stars. And I have a, the rest of the cards I have here are in Magnetics. I picked up some uh, Pro Molds recently. Z2000 League Leader Chrome Refractor. Kind of like how the Pro Molds are a little bit bigger they seem to have a little bit better clarity than the ultra pros there's another i believe this is 2000 eyes of the game stadium club chrome refractor great card acetate i've had this for many years probably almost 10 years so i'm glad i picked up a lot of these jeters back when they were a lot more affordable uh, there's an 07 Topps Heritage short print. Again, just a nice, clean, classic design. Nothing too fancy. This one I just got about a month ago. 
the 2002 Topps Chrome Gold Refractor. Great shine. Had a nice buy now price on it, so I snagged it up. And here's another refractor from 2000. It's the all tops team. Not a real expensive card, one you can pick up for uh, uh, 10 bucks or less. But great shine, and I think Jeter cards are only going to increase in popularity. This, car, this will be kind of a longer video. I have quite a few more Jeter cards to show off, so hopefully uh, you're being entertained here. This is the ovation, standing ovation insert. The background there is uh, kind of a gold parallel. This is a serial number to 500. These are somewhat tough. The 01 version is even tougher. Um, here's 99 flare, measures of greatness, nice insert. As you see, serial number to 500. Another just classic design. And this is also one of my favorites. 96 Collector's Choice Gold Signature. Tough card as these were one per box. And it was a huge set. I think it was over 600 cards. Bought a ton of this product when I was a kid. I may have pulled one or two golds. But uh, no one notable. So it's a nice card. And I believe this is 04 Ultra. Diamond Producers insert. You don't see too many cards with Jeter laying down the bunt, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I got three row box here. I got a bunch of Jeters in here. This was one I picked up this past summer. It is another great one of Jeter's classic cards. 98 Flare, Row Zero. This is serial number to 200. Such a great card. I would never be able to touch the Legacy parallel at, at this point, but this one's good enough for me. Great looking card. Another classic uh, score from 96, Future Franchise. Nice shine. Select Certified, Interleague Preview. It's a young Jeter there with Ray Ordonez. Here's another tough one, 97 Pinnacle. This is the home version. These go for a pretty good uh, buck now. This one I picked up at the National. 2000 Pacific Private Stock. It's a gold parallel, serial number 99. There's a little, uh, there's a couple surface issues there you see by his hat, a little flaking, but overall good card. I got a pretty good price on it so good enough for me 97 SPX bound for glory nice die cut insert love those hollow views serial number to 1500 here's one that's a little newer this is the 05 UD origins and newer, I mean, it's only 15 years old. Uh, short printed of 50. Another nice refractor. I believe this is 2000. Tori's Terrors. Got the great lineup there from the Yankees back in the day. And another favorite, 96 Ultra Gold Medallion. And this was nothing but gold medallion this year. There's no way to uh, not know what you pulled when you opened a pack of these and pulled one of these gold medallions. Classic card. Now here's a stadium club. These guys, cards always kind of throw me for a loop. So these I called Triumvirate. I believe this is a... This is the actually this is the illuminator. Let me take a closer look at that. So this is actually the toughest version. I believe that's his illuminator. Yeah. This is a tough card. This is the toughest one. There's there is luminous, luminescent, and illuminator. So I've had this for quite a while. Great looking insert set. 
in our classic set, 97 Finest. Just a base card. This was kind of a, I don't know what we call an SP, but it was a tougher, uncommon version. Here's 03 Upper Deck Ultimate Collection. This is the gold variation, number to 50. Got this card from Japan, actually, a few years ago. I think I'll need to get a better price on it. And here's another uh, triumvirate. Again, I believe this is either a luminescent or a illuminator. Great shine, great insert sets. He's a 99 Pacific Platinum Blue. These cards were, this is a subset um, parallel, short printed. Here's another one, another favorite. 97 Fleer Tiffany. Tiffany's, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe one per box. Just uh, instead of the classic matte finish, it had a glossy shine. Great card. Yeah, from 96 Summit, this is a foil variation. And this was a 2010... Tops. I believe this is where they came in Walmart packages. It's a nice gold insert. There's a 96 Leaf Preferred Stairmaster. This was always a cool insert set. These are all kind of uh, close up portrait shots. Serial number 2500. And we have another Fleer Tiffany here from 96. It's a nice, simple parallel. And sticking with the 96 theme, here's a Starburst. Dufex technology. Now here's a pretty tough one. This is O2 Fleer Triple Crown Redemption card. So this would have been pulled from a pack and sent in for the Jeter autograph parallel. Obviously it was never sent in. Card's on the best condition. The corners aren't perfect, but I saw this on eBay and I got it for a song and a dance. I couldn't go wrong. I had to pick it up. You know, obviously you'd assume most of them have been redeemed. Here's a 98 Finest Stadium Stars. There's a Yankee Stadium in the background. Cool background insert. Got this really cheap. I'm not sure why. Uh, I mean, it's, they're not really hard to get, but great looking cards. 97 Pacific Fireworks. Here's an early card. This is maybe it was this 92 93 Fleer. The minor league. Another Dufex 96 Pinnacle Project to Stardom. The young Jeter there. Here's another favorite, uh, 05 Don Ross Elite Series. This is the black. This is card really pops. I picked this up a few years ago and really glad I did. It's just a gorgeous card. And this is serial number 2100. I think I'll have to move it over here. It's another nice one from 97 Flair. This is row zero. Great background sparkle there. This is another card. If it was in the Legacy Parallel variation, it would go for huge dollars now. But really, all the all the nice Jeter cards are climbing pretty well. It's a 99 SP Reflections. Not a really tough insert, just nice... Border design, nice shine. Maybe the 92 Upper Deck Minor League. Everyone's familiar with that card, so I won't spend too much time there. Uh, 03. It's another product I believe they only made one year. Rookies and greats. This is a parallel in uh, insert parallel. Sharp printed to 75. 
You see 2001 Donruss Classic Timeless Tributes. Looks very similar to the base card, however, yeah, it's the Timeless Tributes up top. This is serial number to 100. Here's another great refractor, 99 Tops Chrome. It's a classic card. I believe it's pretty clean. Um, any scratches, I believe they're mostly on the uh, the bag, maybe the top loader, one touch. There's that copy on um, eBay right now. I'm curious to see how much it goes for. Pretty decent centering too. These 99s can be pretty tough as far as centering goes. Is it 2000? 21st century refractor. Nice shine. Is in 97 Sports Illustrated. This is the extra edition with A Rod. This is serial number 2500. See 98 Don Ross Elite insert series. Serial number to 2500. I have a stack of these, are just. Um, Top loaded cards. See 97 Pinnacle Inside. These are cool uh, inserts for their day. They had the dial on them. You got uh, Hall of Famer Barry Larkin on the back. It's just the uh, 01 Ultimate Collection. This is a base card. This is the first year this product was made. It was very popular at the time. Here's the uh, Topps Heritage. I don't know what they call these. Um, these are short printed. They're not serial numbered, but they are very tough. It's the 97 Pinnacle Museum Collection. I'd like to pick up the artist proof. They have the gold background. Great looking cards. So another Stadium Club Triumvirate. This is uh, Luminous. As you can tell, it doesn't have the uh, shine like the others did. It's a Elite Aspirations. These are short printed to 750. 97 SPX Gold Parallel. Here's a great one. 03 EX Diamond Essentials. Uh, supposedly these were short print at 30, although I'm not sure. I've seen so many of them. I had a feeling that maybe with the bankruptcy, a lot more got out, but still uh, pretty tough. I see I'm closing in on a half an hour, so I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick here. Uh, there's another 98 Flare Row Zero. Nice shine. What else do I have here? Another gold crown die cut from 97. Ninety-seven Stairmaster. I think I'm gonna stick on the theme of player PCs. So if there's a player you'd like to see me showcase, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to accommodate that. Try to stick to players from 80s, 90s, 2000s, as that's pr my primary collecting focus. I don't really collect too many of the newer cards post-2015. 97 hitting machines. And I'll show off one more. Um, this is the EX Century, favors for Fenway. This is a cool insert. And I think I will cut it off there as I'm... Uh, Logging in on half an hour here. So hopefully you enjoyed the showcase. Please leave a comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll try to post another player PC video shortly. Thank you.